first we're going to talk about this this the border my goodness biden wants to claim biden's dhs chief says the border is secure and closed as crossings surge hmm let's see what he says here Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas says Fox News on Fox News Sunday that the Biden administration is encouraging families not to send their migrant children along dangerous border. Hmm. He falsely claimed the border was secure and even blamed the record surge of migrants on the Trump administration. All right. Red flag right off the bat, right? What we are seeing, here is a quote from him, what we are seeing is a result of President Trump's dismantlement of the safe and orderly immigration processes that were built over many, many years by presidents of both parties, said Mayorkas. Uh, and continues, that's what we are seeing. That's why it's taking time for us to execute our plans to administrate, uh, administer the humanitarian claims of vulnerable children. That's what this is about. This is, this is the truth. Let me tell you the truth of the matter. This is this is really what's going on. Honestly, truthfully. Th no, you're, I'm sorry, you're wrong. All right, President Trump, he was stopping illegal immigration. Okay, that's what he was all about. He he was all he was fine with legal immigration. Legally, you can come into this country and uh, become a citizen. Legally, totally cool with it. Not once did he say anything against legal immigration. It was against illegal immigration. And that's actually what the border wall was about. I actually have, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, this is an article written uh, not five days ago. How Trump got uh, control of the border. Because he did. That wall actually works. Huh. Just look at this. In a few months, if it hasn't already... President Trump's legacy at the border is going to look much better, even to skeptical observers. Well, <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see about that, because they really, really can't stand that man. Am I right? Yeah. My goodness. Check this out. As the Biden administration unwinds Trump's policies, a new migrant crisis builds. It is becoming increasingly clear that the Trump team arrived at the an approach that after uh, fits and starts worked. Counter to the image of the administration taking a blunderbuss approach to everything related to immigration, the push at the border was a thoughtful, creative, and well-coordinated effort across the government agencies and between sovereign countries. It is worth revisiting because understanding how it came about and the reason that it has made such a difference underlies the mistake that the Bi uh, Biden is now making. No matter how much his officials and allies want to deny it and shift blame, because they certainly are. This guy's trying to claim that the border is secure and closed? No. We, we've we got a, an incredible uptick of uh, people surging over the border. Thousands of people a day just coming across the border. Why? Because Biden said, I'm reading countless articles about, well, why did, would you have come during Trump? No way. The, the border was closed. Well, why are you here? Because it Biden made it seem that we could come and become legal citizens. Not only that, the, Laura, here, here's a, a PolitiFact. This is posted by Ryan uh, Savarja. You, you may not have stayed in a hotel in the past year, but illegals arriving since Biden inauguration, they get to stay free of charge. Mostly false. Is it? Is it though? Check this out. Yep, the Biden administration has awarded $86 million contract for hotel rooms near the border to hold around 1,200 migrant family members who crossed the U.S.-Mexico border. So before I get it into the camps, now Project Veritas blew this up, and I'm, I'm about to go over their, uh, what they have uncovered. The, not only is, is there a problem down there, the taxpayers' money are, are actually going towards giving these people, uh, you know, welcome to a, a welcome, a, a welcome spot. Here, have some, uh, have a nice hotel. You know, you cross the border illegally. It's all right. Have a nice hotel room. Check this out. Project Veritas, man. They blew, they're blowing this up. You know, I got to just say, how is Project Veritas, which for all I know, it's not the biggest news team right it's a it's successful they're making moves and it's working 
But my goodness, where is the mainstream media, man? They're, where are they being? Why can't they handle this kind of stuff? Look what they've done. They get aerial videos, all right? Project Veritas obtains never before seen images inside Texas detention facility. Illegal, illegal immigrants are cornered in tight spaces and wrapped in space blankets on the floor. Well, they're emergency blankets. You can see them. They're, they're kind of like, um, they look like aluminum foil, but what it is, it's an emergency blanket. My goodness, it's insane. I'll just skip right to it here. They released a bombshell video today displaying never-before-seen photos inside a detention facility near the U.S.-Mexico border where illegal immigrants are concentrated in tight spaces and wrapped in space blankets. A source reached out to Project Veritas and explained the conditions that these migrants face on a regular basis while detained at the facility. These photos were taken within the last few days. There are eight pods with eight cells each in the facility. At any given moment, there is an average of 3,000 people in custody here. The source said they meaning the illegal immigrants are separated by age and physical size depending on room 50 were covid positive in these cells over the last few days there have been multiple sexual assaults normal assaults and daily medical emergencies they said custom and border patrol completed the construction of this 185,000 square foot facility in donna texas just over a month ago it was designated uh, it was, excuse me, it was designed to house hundreds, if not thousands of migrants on a daily basis that come into the U.S. illegally. According to a CBS report, nonprofit lawyers who conduct oversight of these migrant detention facilities have been impeded by the CBC, CBP from going inside or even seeing photos of the conditions. Project Veritas is offering a previously unseen glimpse into these conditions, which have been kept secret from the public. Project Veritas founder and CEO James O'Keefe visited the Donna detention facility late last week and was asked to leave the location by the facility's staff. A staff member alleged the location was private property and journalists needed to keep their distance. Project Veritas team members that accompanied O'Keefe were in Donna uh, were able to record footage outside the facility before being asked to leave. The team subsequently obtained additional footage of the facility that was recorded in a flyover of the location. Further complicating the situation at the border, a new Project Veritas insider working within the Department of Homeland Security leaked documents warning of a Central American-based caravan headed to the United States. The leaked documents stated or states that in the days leading up to March 30th, and should a caravan form, CBP personnel in the region will work closely with and maintain constant communications with CBP partners, including ICE, as well as local security and immigration agencies. The Biden administration has continuously denied that there was an ongoing crisis at the border and claims that the situation is under control. Project Veritas is still on the ground in Texas to expose corruption and wrongdoing as it appears. It appears once authorities learned we had these photos, they finally gave press access inside to scoop us. Hmm. We're happy that our actions broke the rumored gag order. Look at these photos. These people are slammed in, sleeping on the ground. This is... Okay, it's not technically cages. I, I guess they could rip out of this. But what is this? This looks like... I mean, like a morgue. This this looks like this this is ridiculous. And I, I've got more photos. This is over on the Daily Mail. Check this out. These are all these kids slammed in here. These people are. Uh, this is not comfortable. Uh, this oh man, and Jen Saki, she's she's going. This is not a crisis because. All of the people that came here came from terrible places. Okay. D does that mean we're just going to take in everybody that comes here illegally? Look, I I have nothing against legal immigration. I mean, this country was founded on like a bunch of people coming here, right? Y yeah, you can argue about the, the things that were done to make that happen. But here we are now, okay? And... These people are coming across the border, sending their kids over. All right, there, there's. I saw pictures of people just 
popping kids over a wall. Like, boom, all right, cool, they're in the, we're in the States, we're good. This is not, this is, this is a problem. Let's see. She said Monday that the disturbing images of the cramped conditions inside migrant overflow tent in Texas showed what the Biden administration has said all along. The border facilities are not a place for children. No, they're not. They're not a place for illegal immigration either. You guys are setting up these things because you knew that this was going to happen. They're wearing Let Us In Biden t-shirts that are fresh and clean that they got somehow at the border. I just don't, you know, when when are we going to recognize that Trump actually had it right? They, he had it right. Let me pull up this video. I'm on the ground in Donna, Texas. If you want to take a look at this facility right here. To your left, that is the Border Patrol tent facility. Stands right behind me. Just a month ago, Customs and Border Patrol agents here. completed the construction of that facility. It's a 165,000 square foot facility. And we have never seen images inside this facility before. They won't even allow the nonprofit lawyers who conduct the actual oversight of these immigration detention centers to go inside. Nobody has seen photos inside of this place. Check us out. Until now. So he 50 of the straight up gets Office of Intelligence bump, bump ahead here. asking questions Q and A session to expel unaccompanied children. Oh, this isn't the video that uh, he gets a he straight up gets in a plane. He's like, you know what? They're not gonna let us in. We're gonna do a flyover. All right, gets in the, in a small airplane and starts taking pictures from above. <laughs> Dude, James O'Keefe, you sir are the hero we need. All right, not the one we deserve, but the one we need. I don't know how, how is that? Am I even saying it right? I don't care. We need him. We need people like James O'Keefe. That's like I don't care. I'm gonna get to the truth. Project Truth, Project Veritas. It's rightly named. I think. It's, it's insane, though. These people need to be held accountable. They're trying to claim that it's not a problem. When it's very much a problem, okay? There's a, there's a small gap in the wall where it hasn't been completed, where it was supposed to be completed, but they halted it because of, well, Biden came in and was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not wasting, wasting taxpayer dollars. Oh, you're not? You, you mean you're... you're you're actually taking that taxpayer money and instead of using it to finish the wall that would have stopped the problem that you that that you started that's your fault and giving them money and taking care of them you're setting up i mean they basically have a, a whole school system set up for these kids they're basically gov a government funded daycare now that you and i are paying for if you pay taxes which i do so my tax monies go towards that. Hmm. I'm not okay with that. All right. I'm okay with legal immigration. Just not illegal immigration. Not okay with it. 